Hi everyone, Andrew here with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. That's Wednesday night. We're, we're halfway through the week, so that's a win. Um, I'm tired. Look at those bags. It's it's <laughs> it's midweek, and I've already had uh, long days. One of those early mornings and late nights, burning the candle at both ends, as they say. So I got home and and uh, got settled in, and I figured, you know what, I, I could use a cocktail, and I figure, why not bring y'all with me? I got a, a new one here, obviously. I'm trying not to do any reruns. Uh, Great Divide out of Colorado. Yep, just up that way. Uh, sadly, I didn't have time to go to the brewery. I wanted to. I had all intentions of doing that, but... Oh, life happens, right? So, uh, Great Divide, White Russian Yay. So, this is, well, I was just reading it here a second ago. Comes in at 9.5 alcohol by volume. It's an imperial stout with vanilla and coffee. So, I, I'm assuming this is kind of a take on, like, like the drink, the White Russian. Uh, I found this at HEB for $249 for the can, which isn't too bad. It's kind of it's kind of condensating here. It's dripping a little bit on me, uh, letting it kind of get get up to temperature. It's uh, doing the video today in the office. It's we kind of have we're having a little cold snap here, and in, uh, in the Gulf Coast area and um, or Texas Gulf Coast. And you know I say that it's not like it's super cold it's i think 50 but when you've lived down here for quite a while it takes its toll on you so let's uh let's go ahead and get this poured really looking forward to this i i like uh i like white russians i actually i think i like black russians a little bit better um I don't know, that vodka and Kahlua is a good mix. And then sometimes when I make white Russians, you know what you do? Well, pro tip, do the uh, um, like Italian cream, like the Italian sweet cream instead of milk. Oh, man. That's the jam right there. Anyhow, let's see. Let's see how this uh, how this pairs here. Let's get a good pour. Look at that. I can hear the carbonation. Got our fancy glass here. Very, I can smell the vanilla from here. Uh, very, very deep, rich brown, almost, uh, almost black. Uh, nice head. Again, there's a lot of. Seems like a lot of carbonation on that. Just, just from what I could hear. Oh my gosh. So, definitely get that that stout smell the kind of earthy deep uh the notes of vanilla i can i can pick that up the the sweetness um oh yeah yeah that's uh that's gonna be exciting let's see if there's not really anything else to talk about here again they're they're based out of denver colorado um so yeah, that, again, I, I don't think I've had anything from Great Divide that I, I didn't like. So, here we go. Cheers to you and your families. Hope you're having a good week. Coming up on Thanksgiving here next next week. So, hopefully a short week for most of you. Getting together with family, friends. Enjoying a, 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 a feast of a meal. Uh, a, lot, a lot of you do that. I know we're going to do that. So, cheers to all of you. Let's get in on this. That is divine. Wow. So, uh, I didn't smell the coffee, but you definitely taste it. It's very good. Um, 
and then you get the sweetness of the vanilla. Um, interesting mouthfeel. It's a little more carbonated for a stout, which uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't mind. I don't dislike. Um, some of them are just a little, little less carbonated, not so much of a hiss. But that is, that is delicious. Um, Nine point five, and those that I think those, those Yeti series, they all tend to come in at about nine point five. I think Big Yeti was a little bit higher. It might be like ten or eleven. Uh, which is good. I'm I'm gonna be be on the lookout for that uh, sampler pack again. I uh, I really enjoy that. This stuff is uh, this stuff is great. Oh yeah, if you can find this, go get it. I I don't know if they're gonna have this in like a sampler pack or or what, but that's uh, that's good stuff. So. <clears throat> This evening, like I said, I was working kind of late I'm at the office. Only one there. Everyone else left me. Don't blame him. Who wants to be at the office late, right? And so, doing doing my thing. I'm, you know, because really my rule is if it's after like three o'clock, because of where I work and where I live, <clears throat> Houston traffic is a beast, y'all. So typically, if it's if it's like after three. No, I'm just gonna wait till after seven to uh, to get on the road because I've went two two and a half hours sitting in traffic. Uh, no one wants to go to that party, right? I just yeah, stay at stay at the office, get some get some heads down work done, and uh, so I'm sitting there. I've got two phones, right? I, I get to I'm about that life where I get to have a work phone and a personal phone, right? Um, and so. I don't know about anybody else, but you know, when you're kind of in the zone and you're working, you just just want to focus and trying to get shit done, you know, going between multiple screens and 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 getting shit done. And my my phone starts getting texts. Yeah. Not just like one. Sixteen. Sixteen text messages boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom I look and I see who it is it's actually a friend of the channel Mr. Uh, T Money Summer yeah that's that's the name he goes by uh, not on YouTube or anything but that's, that's how he wants to be uh, recognized a little tip of the hat on the channel here, uh, decided to go ahead and set off my anxiety by literally sending text message with, uh, you know, back to back with like just a couple words. So I had to endure 16 dings separately and, and I almost had to buy a new damn iPhone because I bought through that damn thing out the window. Thanks for that, T-Money Summer. Appreciate that. Uh, no, uh, he he is a, a fan of the channel and uh, and, and really enjoys the, the check-ins and catches the videos, and I appreciate that. So uh, also, uh, well, I spoke with him earlier in the week, and um, if you don't think the cost of goods is going up, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little something. Um, he's traveling, okay? He travels for his work. And um, he's in he's in some of the, the southern states. I'm not going to put out all his business. And he's at a hotel. And, I, and I'm talking to him in the morning uh, while I'm driving to work just playing catch up, right? He's like, yeah, I'm getting ready to have, have some breakfast. I'm like, yeah, you know, at a hotel, that's awesome. Like, I just did that. I was just at... Uh, you know, my little vacation and staying, staying at a hotel, they did the complimentary breakfast. It was great. I was like, yeah, who doesn't enjoy a complimentary breakfast? Oh, guess how much he spent on breakfast? $40. 40 
Not not like like five people. It's him. Forty dollars for breakfast. It's kind of like playing Jeopardy. I'll take uh, breakfast for forty dollars, Alex. What? Um, do you remember when breakfast used to be like like the cheap meal, right? Hell, again, hotels putting putting on breakfast for for free. You know the complimentary breakfast they get you in there their their rate don't worry nothing's ever free if you think something's free then you need to you need to wake up a little bit nothing's ever free but breakfast is is expensive uh, a, a couple oh well, god it's been a couple years now I, I went to a restaurant with another buddy and uh, i spent almost almost 30 dollars it was just me like it was some coffee and like like I'm a biscuits and gravy guy. If you can't tell, I'm a fat guy. I like biscuits and gravy, and I, you know, probably got like some bacon and hash browns or something like that. And 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 with the tip and everything, it was damn near thirty dollars. But nothing's cheap anymore. When breakfast starts getting expensive, we need to start worrying, right? So, what a little tangent there. But more, more throwing a little, little hello and a shout out to to T Money Summer. He's, uh, he's drinking some old fashions tonight. Those are good drinks. This beer, the coffee. So, you know, like you get a beer that's like a coffee flavored beer and it's just like whatever. The coffee in this is delicious. I, I It's like, you know, and I'm not knocking anyone that drinks cheap coffee, you know, but those of you that are coffee connoisseurs, know the difference when you drink a better coffee a lot of the times it's a little less acidic you know a lot easier on your on your gut uh this is good coffee i don't i don't it doesn't say what kind of coffee it is um but it's delicious so double feature tonight but our our secondary is is not is not something new it's what I had sitting over here behind me. Uh, Tula Mordu, Irish whiskey. It's good stuff. I'm telling you, I've got my uh, my skull shot glass. Again, a gift from Alice. Got a couple of these. Uh, I love them. You know, it's the uh, it's the legal way to drink from the skulls of your enemies because. The other way is friend upon blah, 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 whatever. So again, cheers to all of you. I appreciate the, you know, the, the comments and the support and talking with you and it's good time. You know, great time for me. I'm having the cocktails. Hopefully y'all are too. So uh, cheers. Wrong pipe there. It's actually very smooth. A little bit of burn, a pleasant burn, as I like to say. I haven't done a, I haven't done a shot in a while. Not really much of a, not really much of a shot guy. Uh, usually just sip on it there. Put that back over there. So, not much of a short video here. Kind of long video. Chilling in the office. Uh, got got Harry over there, hanging out. Probably, yeah, sleeping on the on the guest bed there. All right, folks. Again, my best to all of you. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Weekend's coming up. Um, probably no kayaking for me this weekend. I, I, unless it warms up a little bit. <clears throat> but uh, going to do something a little different this year. I, I'm going to go ahead and break out christmas decorations and you know what don't don't jump my shit i get it i know christmas starts getting earlier and earlier when you go to these stores but i i'm gonna pull it out um uh, and and actually have stuff decorated before thanksgiving uh because I, I don't know about y'all it gets to be so much work right you know it's supposed to be fun should be but i you know i'm gonna get the garland out get the lights out get my boys to come help me it's a pretty good time get the tree up you know i'm not i'm not sure what volume of decorations we're going to do we got we got a lot of decorations all the way to plates yeah we're those people got 
change out the whole plate set for the entire house. <laughs> Cookware, all that. But get that out, and, and it should make for, uh, you know, a joyous season. You know, get to enjoy it a little bit more. Typically, I, I'm running late. I'm doing it like a week or so into December, and hell, then you're taking it right back down shortly after New Year's, right? So I'm going to get ahead of it a little bit this year. Enjoy, enjoy it a little bit more. So I'm sure I'll see you all before Thanksgiving. We might even do a Thanksgiving check-in. You never know. Cheers, y'all. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you later. We'll see you.